Okay. We've gotten our first taste of the Midgar Zomer. Zomer? Zo Zo Zomo. Zalone. Zalone, there we go. Midgar Zalone. Oh, all right. I maybe should have done dual cast spell blades on Barks. Now, do note, this is damage I'm taking with Sentinel Grimoire up. Also, let's be fair, my defenses are a little high. I do have good... There we go. Here comes the good shit. Ponubi, what does that mean? Oh, that means he's counterattacking every hit now. Not specifically every hit. But he has a chance. Entangled, 700 damage with Sentinel Grimoire. We want to maximize our big hitting moves now uh, in order to minimize the number of times that we get hit by uh, Beta. We'll probably send Doggy to do his trick next turn. Now, he's doing it every turn. Or like, it's, it's like a 50% something or something. Like that. It's crazy. Um, now note, I do have full... Uh, fire resist on and beta is a fire move uh, so that is why you're seeing reduced damage pretty much double the damage of beta and that's the amount that I should be getting hit by Meter smash, what a great move. <laughs> Ooh, excuse me. I, uh... <laughs> oh no, I'm a gross boy. I unmuted my mic too fast. But yeah, look at the, the fucking speed that these counters are coming out at. They're, it's ridiculous. We want to finish him off in the next couple of moves, or else. It might be actually worth it to do Meteor Smash in instead.
Yeah, good. Uh, now, it should be mentioned that uh, soul breaks don't trigger counter attacks. So if you have a good wind based soul break, save that for the, the final phase. And then, you know, you can tear them apart pretty quickly. Or just soul breaks in general, really.